Hey everybody, how's it? Aloha, this is Jeebs here at the Decomposer Lounge here dissecting and pulling back the layers of your favorite tracks suggested by you. And I'm in the middle of my stoner rock metal week only. And the king of all the suggestions, Caius. I believe that's how you pronounce it, right Caius? I did one track from them before. I looked at my catalog and I realized I did Gardenia. So uh, I look forward to doing Green Machine. Mmm, mmm, Green Machine, stoner week. Whoa. Anyhow, yeah, I made that reference about Thai Stick on my first, I can't help it, man. That was my first, you know, experience. Man, was it just something. I mean, I can't remember much of it, but anyhow, I digress, as I should. I uh, want to thank you guys for your support. <laughs> if you want to buy me a cup of coffee, check out what headsets I'm wearing, these AKG 240s, also this uh, Kaius, um Spotify, and also my Patreon. Those links will be down below. Okay, so let's do this. Green Machine by Caius. All right. Okay, so, you know, one of the things, I started reading up on the genre a little bit, and, and from what I read, you know, on, on, on the Google, uh, kind of a doom core, psychedelic, um, you know, power metal kind of vibe. And actually, I guess it happened in the 90s. Um, and, but you know what's really cool about what I'm, now that I kind of have that in my head, <clears throat> you know, one of the, what are the differentiating aspects about what I'm hearing, at least here on this track, you know, Green Machine, and let's just say more progressive uh, sounds of the same exact playing is if this was to be engineered completely differently but played identical even on the same um, instruments that they're playing through the amps and everything that they're playing would be the difference of what would be more of a progressive doom core I think sound so in other words imagine um, a little more compression, harder, you know, left and right split and stuff like that. And it's just that nudge away from being that, you know, next level. However, what I deeply appreciate about this is this is plug and rock and power metal play, play and go. You know what I'm saying? Like there's little bits of noises and stuff that are going on. That very beginning that opened up, dink it, dink it, dink it, and then that, you know, kind of an answer back that happened over here. <coughs> Sounded like there was a little gate on it. But it, it was just pure, it was raw, there was you know a little bit of string noise and stuff like that. I love the engineering of the, of the drums. So, so far this is the third band, you know, during the stoner rock week. And what I'm loving is the more raw, powerful uh, engineering of the drums. You know, it's not really glam, tricked out engineering and stuff like that. That I also really do appreciate in the really super progressive stuff that I've been hearing, you know, like if let's just say we're listening to periphery or something like that that really pushed forward kind of engineering where everything is just the sounds and it's just so crisp and so powerful this is just like brah, you know what i mean and it's also pretty stoner sounding and then once again the voice on this as well you have all this power and stuff and you've just got this really kind of it's it's not an overdriven over the top vocal and i like what i like the difference between the power of everything that's happening there with the riff that's going crazy, you know, and then you have the vocals, how it's just kind of, 
it's not it's just not over the top it's something that I'm, I'm I can actually glam into the melody with it so anyhow here we continue on let's keep it going <laughs> Okay, something else I want to briefly mention about the vocals. Um, I love the fact also that you hear the harmonies that are there, that it's not over-engineered either. I, you know, I'm, I'm saying over-engineered as if, if all the other stuff I'm hearing is, is more than needs to be. It's just, I love that the background vocals are just these mono backgrounds that are just sitting right behind him, and they're not like perfectly syllable to syllable, you know, locked in. And for me, that really delivers an extra little bit of a, <clears throat> you know, lead in with the shoulder kind of a punch. Uh, with these uh, vocals that are happening here. See, now there's something about that for me um, that now I understand why at least everybody's saying in the comments that they were number one. You know, now I don't, well, I did open that up with I understand. What I understand is, is it's just so raw and powerful. What I'm a little off with, and maybe you guys can help me with, is did, because remember, I'm, I'm, if, I know all, most of you have already been on my channel. For those of you who've never been on my channel and stuff, I, I, I'm on a journey learning about you know, the sub-genres of metal and stuff like that. I'm just a goofy old composer that does TV stuff. And so what I'm, is this kind of after the new metal and some of the things where, where it was like, God, we've really hit this, like, what do we do now? And that this um, this style actually came into play. Because it said in the in the thing, like it was like in the 90s, it came, in, it came in and then blew up. And so, I mean, apparently, perhaps maybe they were the first ones to come out with, you know, such a powerful sound. That kind of, you know, even that where the melody was playing, they were doing the stuff in unison with the bass and stuff. That kind of was a very Hendrixy, psychedelic y kind of vibe. And that's where I also kind of glued in what it said on that little Google thing. So, but I loved it. As a matter of fact, this, this, these last few days for me has been like a really big kind of pullback to my own tripping out in the 70s and stuff like that when metal really affected me. Like, what is going on? What is this? This is absolutely killer. You know, um, but anyhow, I just wanted to uh, share with you guys Caius Green Machine tonight, today, this morning, wherever it is, you're, whenever it is you're listening to it. And uh, I want to thank you guys for your suggestions. I want to thank you guys also for taking the time and just tell, teaching me a little bit about, you know, how when the g genres come in. Uh, sometimes I try to listen to some of the other guys out there. That, there's that guy, uh, the punk rock MBA guy. Um, sometimes I learn quite a bit from there, but I don't know any other, you know, and I figure the... The fans uh, can kind of fill it in for me. So that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Tomorrow, who do I have tomorrow? I don't know. I think I'll have to wean over it. Oh, oh!
Oh boy, I said it. Yep, I'm going to be doing ween tomorrow. You guys take care of yourself. Have a killer day. All right.